Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back, okay? In today's video, we have a, another highly requested video, and it is 50 cottagecore crochet ideas. I've been so excited to make this video because I love cottagecore, okay? I feel like at one point, I was very, very cottagecore. My aesthetic has slowly kind of shifted into what Ever it is now but I love cottage core and this was a very fun video to research for so for this video I've got four categories for you we've got clothing decor accessories and miscellaneous so as always everything that I say will be listed in the description box below in the order that I said it linked to a paid or free written or video tutorial so that you can make whatever I'm showing you so let's jump into the first category which is clothing so, for clothing, we have this Adelia, uh, uh, I'm messing up the name, but it's this really cute dress with ties at the top. If you're more of a comfy, cozy cottage core lover, then you are definitely going to like this striped sweater. Okay, super for big super good for beginners if you've never crocheted a sweater before definitely check out this tutorial if you want to make this cozy striped sweater to pair with whatever other cottagecore stuff you have okay if you're more into strawberries and cottagecore definitely make this strawberry shrug there's also some really cute overalls in this category like this wallum overall set super cute this is i think it's like an overall dress but this one the garden crew pants is a overall like short and it's so cute it reminds me of like garden gardening i mean i guess that's why it's called garden crew okay but yeah super cute um or you can make this tinkerbell skirt so i'm kind of trying to cater to both a more femme cottage core and kind of mask cottage core style okay within this category we also have this dress with the puff sleeves super cute or even just a simple granny square cardigan will always do good okay with this cottage core vibe you can also make this atlas moth crop crop top atlas moth crop top love that also atlas moths are so pretty okay but this creator made a pattern so that you can actually crochet one into a top um then there's this estelle crochet top which has like the puff sleeves very cute very like pair it with a long skirt and frolic through the forest okay um you can also make this tula top which is very versatile it looks like you can do no sleeves long sleeves short sleeves whatever so that's pretty cool or you can even make this forever young jumpsuit kind of overall look with pockets super cute and this one i featured in another video and you guys went crazy because you were like oh my gosh we need a whole cottage core video which and here i am but um it's this skirt with the suspenders super cute okay adorable and then similar to the atlas moth top that i showed you earlier there's another one but it's with bumblebee so if bumblebees are your thing super cute um you can also make this slouchy cardigan or if you want more of a distinguished cardigan you can even make this harvest cardigan which kind of reminds me of like pumpkin patches um perfect for fall coming up and you can also make this peekaboo fairy dress if your cottage core is more like femme fairy frolicky cottage core okay because there's like a spectrum of cottage core there's like cottage core mushroom people cottage core frog people cottage core fairy people cottage core like cozy reading a book people so it's a very big spectrum and i'm trying to hit all of it in this video but you can also make this lace cardigan super cute to add to any of these dresses that i showed you or even this easy crochet ribbed chunky cardigan if chunky cardigans are your thing or you can make this estelle top slash dress so it's a top or a dress depending on how much crocheting you want to do but again it kind of gives that like frolicking through the field vibe okay that's all I've got for you for clothing, so let's move into the decor category. So, for decor, I've got these funky-looking mushrooms for you, okay, to decorate your house with. And then I also have these oak leaf and acorn garland, super cute, kind of bring the outside inside. And then you can even make this fairy garden wall kind of style crochet wall hanging, or this mushroom crochet pillow. Or if you want something that's uh, cute, decor 
cute, decorative, and functional. Definitely make these pie oven mitts, okay? Super cute. You can also make these mushroom appliques and add them to really anything. Walls, clothing, blankets, whatever. Um, you can also make this mushroom wall hanging, which is super cute. I kind of want to make one to hang in our bathroom. Um, and then you can also make this fun, like, strawberry... Uh, bowl i don't even know what it is it's kind of you could put like a candle on it you could put a cup on it it's like a coaster it can go on her plate it can be like a table setting whatever um you can also crochet with really really tiny yarn and crochet these ivy leaves which crazy but if that's if crazy is your thing do it um you can also make these really fun storybook looking toadstools super cute or if you want more plants but you can't keep a plant alive to save your life like me then you can make these five easy crochet vine plants to hang around your room or your house and that's all we have for decor so let's move into the accessories category within the accessories category we have this really cute pie bag which oh my gosh i love this so much or you can even make this water bottle holder like the strawberry water bottle holder or you can make this kind of this sunflower or i'm sorry this russet flower forager kind of like a corset or like underbust thing to add to an outfit or you can make this strawberry jam crochet like it looks like a phone holder it's really small but it's super cute and detailed and i love the little flurly things on it you can even make a strawberry beanie with strings like this. Sorry, guys. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. I've been talking all day. So, you can also make, if strawberries are your thing, you can also make this strawberry purse. Okay? Super cute. If you want stuff to go in your hair, you can make this crocheted bandana or even this, um, like, granny square crochet bandana or this other one that kind of has, like, flowery uh, squares, but not really squares. There's, like, flower bandana, I guess. Um, or you can make this flower kind of cottage y flower vine to go around your head. Kind of like floral headbands, but it's not really a headband kind of thing. And then you can even make these fingerless gloves, these mushroom ones, and these mushroom ones with snails also, okay? And then you can also make these red mushroom ones which are a different stitch but three different fingerless gloves that you can make and that is all we have for accessories so let's go ahead and do our last category which is miscellaneous so everything that didn't fit into the other categories but it's still cottage core okay so for the miscellaneous category we have this woodland cottage lovey which is so cute especially if you are a mom okay and you have a cottage core baby and you want to add stuff to their nursery definitely make this it's super cute and then um you can even do this crocheted picnic basket which is super fun even functionally or even as like a toy it's super cute or you can make these ladybug crochet kind of like toy set i guess it's like little places for it to sleep and places for it to be in a bag like it's so cute okay it's cute it's like a toy set but even if you don't have kids you can totally make this for yourself um and then there's this crocheted frog if you're one of the frog cottage core lovers and then if you're a mushroom cottage core lover i found this really cool little mushroom cottage pattern okay even if you just want to have it sitting on a shelf somewhere i think it's really cute but that is all i have for you for your 50 cottage core inspired crochet ideas so like i said everything i said in this video will be listed in the order that i said it in the description description box link to a free or written paid or paid or wait i'm confusing myself a free or paid written or video tutorial so that you can make whatever i showed you and if you're looking for the specific pictures and the pictures owners definitely check out the pinterest board which is also linked down below it's everything i showed you all those pictures are there so if you're looking for a specific picture um, for inspiration or something like that, that's where you're going to find it. Other than that, if there is a crochet project that you want to show me that you made, please tag me on Instagram and I'll share it on my Instagram story. But with that being said, guys, I hope you guys like this video, okay? If there is another video that you want me to do that I haven't done yet, you can comment it down below. Or if there's any section within this video that you kind of want more of, like say you want a 50 cottagecore clothing only video, let me know in the comments down below. And if there are enough of you, I will definitely make another video for that, okay? So with that being said, thank you for watching, guys. I love you. Bye.